Hello and welcome to another tutorial from OpenShading.com. I'm Thomas and today we're going to talk a bit about colors and color conversion. Okay, so I already have my include std osl header file, so I can simply go to my shader declaration. Let's call it color example. And then we have to add some variables to that. So um, for the beginning, I just want uh, an output variable. So I will use the keyword output. The variable type is color and let's call it call out. And now I can choose whether I want to assign one value to the free RGB components like that, or if I would like to specify all three components separately. Um, so for that I would need to um, write color and then in brackets add the free RGB components. So if you only want uh, a value which applies to all three components you can leave everything out and just assign a, a simple float value to that. That will work just fine. Okay, now we can add the code in brackets here. And uh, to demonstrate you some of the features here, I will use a simple noise pattern. So let's create a new float value, call it n, and assign the noise function to it. I want cell noise. And we of course also need some coordinates. So to get some two-dimensional noise here, I have to add the shading point P here, or any other point which could um, come from the input, but the global P is just fine here. And then we can assign this noise to our output color. So cal out is N. Let's compile this. And as you can see, we have a basic grayscale pattern here now. But we would like to get some colors here. So the interesting thing about uh, the following example is that we can create an HSV color. So we are not taking the default RGB color, but we would like to get an HSV color. And we can take all the different grayscale um, patterns here. So all of those uh, squares have different values. We can take them as input for the hue value inside of the HSV color. So I will remove this assignment here and create a new color. Now if I don't want the default RGB color space, I have to tell that to OSL. So I have to specify the color space, so it's HSV. And then for the hue uh, value I would like to use this cell noise pattern, so I assign N. And then we need two variables, we can either make constants here or we just uh, make proper variables. So let's add saturation and value. And then we need two input variables, of course. So we add float saturation and float value. Okay, and if we compile that now, we get some nice colors here. And the, the hue is specified by the noise pattern but we have control over the saturation and the brightness, of course. Okay. So this is some basic knowledge about colors in OSL. One thing I still want to mention is that you can also convert colors, of course between RGB and HSV or vice versa. And for that, we can use the transform C function, which is similar to the transform function we used in the um, 
in another tutorial for converting coordinates from world to object space. This works uh, also for colors, so we can define a new color. Let's call it whatever, call2 for example. And then we can call the transform, transform C function, and then specify the output color space we would like to get. So in this case, I want um, an HSV color. And as input, I take color. So I can declare a color here which is uh, in the RGB space then, because it's the default. And then this color will get transformed to an HSV color with this function here. Okay, so if we would use that color then, it would be transformed and we could use the three different components of the HSV color for further calculations. Okay, I hope you learned something new in this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching. I'm not sure if uh, I will do another one before Christmas, so in case uh, you won't see us again before that, Merry Christmas to you all, thanks for watching the tutorials, and uh, see you later with another one. Thanks and bye.